Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. I went back to my old uh, my old stomping ground in Glendale and I paid a visit to my old go-to. I used to go to a Petco that was part of a shopping mall back there and uh, you know, I used to go there for supplies for the dogs and, and sometimes some fish fish supplies, but the fish, uh, the choices for fish were always really, really bad and the uh, conditions were pretty bad. So I didn't really expect to see anything that would impress me or anything that was uh, any good, but I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, take a look and you tell me what you think and tell me in the, in the comments below whether you'd buy a fish from this, uh, from this Petco and uh, what your thoughts are about it in general. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate, share, hit that bell, sub, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Like most stores of this kind, the first thing you notice when you walk in is it's just enormous. And on the right, you've got the checkout area. You've got the uh, grooming and the vet clinic. You've got dog and cat supplies, and then over to the left, where it's always been, are the uh, fish and aquariums, and uh, they have some of these uh, some of these uh, plug and play uh, type aquariums that you just you just buy, take home, and they they have they have just about everything in them. They're ready to go. They come in handy if you ever need a a real quick uh, quarantine tank or something like that. They can certainly come in handy, all prepackaged and boxed. They also had a, a, a pretty good selection of plants. I didn't see any plants in there that looked like they were uh, frayed or brown or dying. They all looked in pretty good shape, as well as some of this bamboo that seems to be popular now. They had the usual, uh, you know, the usual rack, usual shelves of betta. Uh, some really uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, selections, pretty choices here. They sell them, it looks like, by color. You get 20% off if you're a member of that PAL program. If I was in the market for a bet, I would have probably picked one up. I mean, they had some very, uh, very unusual colors and shapes. And uh, this one coming up here on the on the far right was actually pretty, uh, pretty impressive here on the far right there. I just like love the way his fins were, were outlined. But uh, I'm not currently into betta, so... I moved on. They had the usual selection of uh, knickknacks for your aquarium. I didn't see Groot, but I did see SpongeBob, so we're okay. The uh, uh, one thing that surprised me was they had 90-gallon tanks. Normally, you don't see 90-gallon tanks on display in these big box stores. The biggest ones that I normally see are maybe 60 or 70 gallons, usually uh, sometimes a 40. But uh, but 3.99 that seemed a little a little steep to me for a 90, but of course you're you're uh, you're listening to somebody who buys his tanks usually on Craigslist, so <laughs> so yeah, 3.99 is pretty pretty expensive. But uh, uh, if if you're thinking about getting into some cichlids, this is a great size, you know, that's a good size to start with. Uh, but you'll still need a bigger one later. They had a nice selection of frozen foods, and while I was there, I went ahead and picked up some some frozen krill for uh, my bigger predator haps. They love that stuff. It's not cheap, 25 bucks for a sheet, but uh, it goes a long way. You know, just about a square inch of it can can uh, last quite a while. Rows and rows of supplies, and um, I was very, uh, very, very surprised and, and, and uh, pleased to see how much variety they had. There isn't really, uh, really anything that you could want for your fish, whether it's for a pond or salt water or fresh, there's, there really isn't anything you would you would need that you probably couldn't find here. They had uh, just row after row after row of uh, of supplies and uh, medications and uh, different kinds of things. They had a high door here that was marked down twenty dollars. I have the third generation, which is, I think is the one that came after this one, but still, that's a pretty good price for a pump that pushes over a thousand gallons an hour they had fluval products that you normally see in in most big box stores again prices are pretty good if you're a member of that pals program you can get a, a discount usually on on any of these things as much as 20 percent off and uh, to join you just give them your name and your email address and again rows and rows of supplies anything you could want from filter cartridges to 
entire hang on back units, canisters, light fixtures, cleaning supplies, medications, and everything else. The, um, of course, the thing of, of most interest here, as we see here with these young Oscars, is the tanks. This is one of those large bio cubes. They sell these, and um, I've never seen these on display in the uh, in in a Petco or a PetSmart for that matter. Pretty impressive. Here it is in the box. Again, one of those things you just grab the box and take it home. It says 32, but it sure does seem bigger than a 32 gallon. And now we're tipping a little bit into the reptile section, but uh, you kind of get the feel here. They had some fish that were under observation. I imagine that's quarantine. That's a good thing. And their selection of saltwater fish was uh, was pretty impressive. They had quite quite a few of them. And what you're going to notice as you look at the tanks in this Petco is that they're pristine. I would never buy a fish in this store before, because when I go into the into the fish, fish section, uh, the tanks were were unkept. There were usually uh, dead fish in the tanks, uh, lots of algae. Uh, the substrate was, was obviously very dirty and unkept. That is not the case anymore. These are different tanks. It looks like they ripped out the old ones and put these, uh, these racks in. And according to the uh, person I spoke to at the cash register when I paid for that krill, he said that each of these banks, each of these sets of three, or two, depending how high they are, each set of, uh, of tanks has its own, its own filtration system. So um, it's not one filter per tank, it's, one filter, it's a filter per bank of tanks. And uh, so each, each uh, horizontal set of tanks has a filter system behind and underneath that is circulating a lot of water and keeping these tanks looking pristine, as you can see. I didn't see a single tank that had an algae buildup or that had any detritus on the substrate. You can see these nice guppies here. They had a couple tanks full of guppies. Not something I'm currently keeping, but these were certainly impressive. And uh, you can see some shrimp there. Looks like glass, sh glass shrimp. A lot of neon tetras, very common in these big box stores. You'll find these neon tetras. I like the cardinals that have the red that runs uh, the length of the under, you know, of the belly underneath the uh, the neon stripe. The red in the cardinal, I think, is much, much more impressive. But these are pretty, and you can't beat the price. Like a buck each, kind of fish you pick up, like you know, twenty or thirty of them, take them home. They can really li liven up a, a community tank. Looks like they're trying a different kind of uh, substrate here, some sand. Again, it looks, it looks pristine, looks clean. The fish look healthy. I'm not seeing any clamped fins. I'm not seeing any ick. I'm not seeing uh, fish that look in distress. I'm not seeing sunken bellies. The kind of stuff you'll see in, in some of these uh, larger stores. These, these guppies are very pretty. It looks like they, uh, here are some tiger barbs and some scissor tails, all, all looking good, all looking healthy. And it looks like they're selling both uh, decor and uh, and plants mixed in with the fish. You know, some live bears and some uh, some tetras, some more tiger barbs. Again, look at the plants. I mean, even the artificial plants. You'd expect to see some some algae there, but every everywhere you look, it is actually pristine conditions. The only reason I wouldn't give this store a five-star rating is because no one came over to say if I needed, a, you know, no one came over to ask if I needed anything. But the people I did speak with were helpful, uh, and uh, I was thinking about giving them a four. But you know what? I think this is a four and a half. I mean, look at that. that that's the uh, usually you don't see the feeder fish in that clean a condition. As you can see, this this uh, each separated section has its own filtration. And I believe that's why we're seeing such a, such clean and pristine conditions and such healthy fish. Obviously, somebody is over this department that really cares about what's going on with, with these fish. That was far superior to any PetSmart I've ever been in. 
This used to be my go-to store when I used to live in Glendale and they have completely revamped their uh, tropical fish area. I was very, very impressed. Every tank looked clean. The fish were all uh, pretty good health as far as I could tell. Each tower of uh, each bank, each tower of uh, fish has its own filtration system. I checked with the manager and uh, hey, I'm impressed. I'd buy a fish here. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. Be sure you comment below, rate, share, and all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in.